Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Tuesday the 28th of May. So uh, yesterday we had the US and UK markets both closed um, bank for bank holidays. Uh, we've, got, we've got more coming up on Thursday actually um, when we've got the French, German and um, looks like uh, most of Europe um, sitting there having bank holidays. So we'll see how things uh, pan out this week. But for now, we're well... Um, Friday looked encouraging for the euro there. I mean, a follow through from Thursday's uh, double bottom there. Uh, where to? Where it looked like it was on to continue, maybe, to, if I'd been doing an update yesterday. Uh, maybe with a break at the top there. It may have uh, looked like it was back in towards that uh, daily 50 there. But it's stalled. It's rolled over. It's looking like it wants to come back for that weekly pivot. Although this morning's price action, as small as it is, the euro is just... Um, well, let's come back to the daily here. Look at this average true range down to 44 pips. That's such a, a such a small range now. Um, I'm not too sure whether, whether it's even worth looking at at the moment in real, real terms. Although it does uh, occasionally give some uh, half decent points, um, but generally news driven. So uh, I'm looking at a 60 minute chart. It could give some points out today, I guess. Um, if it's it, signs here it's just uh, come down to the RSI it does look like it's diverged here a little bit maybe I mean it's got untouched daily pivot above and it may, on days like this when it's so so pinched I mean look at yesterday it just literally uh, fell off to sleep uh, with the US UK markets closed um, try as it may Europe didn't really get too much happening there but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a, another slowish one but it could uh, push on through its daily pivot there and uh, maybe make it for the R1 Friday's high um, Friday's highs, uh, yesterday's highs even uh, higher than Friday so there's a possibility you can push up that way and still um, run in towards that uh, daily 50 but it doesn't look the best and we'll see the pound, well we've seen a lot of volatility on this particularly on Friday with a sort of whipsaw sort of uh, price action going on um, well, even this, I mean, it pushed up strong in the end on Friday. Yesterday saw a selling off day, which is probably not a surprise the market closed. Um, quick sell the pound, the Brits are not around. Um, uh, it's consolidated, you see, from where it is on the four alley here, and questionable whether it'll uh, pitch back um, from where it is now. It's. Um, very difficult to say when we've had such a, a quiet old day. It's a, a quite previous day. Yes, it sold off initially on the European results, no doubt, um, coming through there. Uh, the follow-up from the European results as the Brexit party uh, took the majority there. Um, but, uh, well, it, to me, it still looks weak. There's a lot of uh, doubt that's likely to happen. Um, I preference would be to the downside around uh, to be trading it to the downside there with a, at some point a, a move back to these prior lows there so uh, look soft um, as I said it, it tried pitching up on Friday but and leading into uh, yesterday morning but uh, couldn't hold on to those gains right uh, it's the pound yen not a nice morning to look at some of these markets when you've had this sort of close closed day where well, the yen was uh, regaining into Friday um, generally it's um, so are most of the markets so it's working in the same direction as many of the markets as opposed to its uh, um, price action we so often see maybe coming down to double bottom territory here and it may just strengthen a little bit more it's uh, it's still this unknown and these massive risks that sit in the market and the yen seems to be the go-to currency for risk um, choppy as anything yesterday, I won't be too surprised if we see much the same today. It's uh, certainly not for me today. Um, in fact, I'm looking at a lot of these currencies, they may not even come too much on the radar. But the, well, the Aussie um, yesterday slipped back a little bit again. It's just come back to here. It has, all intents and purposes, last week it put higher lows in and it broke, eventually broke that prior high there, so a higher high. Now, uh, we've got a weekly pivot untouched below. It's uh, 
sitting on its daily at the moment. There's a lovely trend line with that 50 MA. If it breaks, maybe that 50 MA sort of level, um, perhaps that weekly pivot could be on. It's um, still not for lots of pips, so it's about 12 pips. It's just uh, another one of these markets that's uh, basically uh, drifted off at 42 pips range. It uh, doesn't really give much in it for a day trader there. Canadian dollar, well, this may give a bit more range at 60 pips, but um, um, within range, it's giving range. <laughs> it's uh, we're sitting from here. If anything, well, break of that 200, it becomes a target for the uh, target becomes down there towards that 33.80 area again. Um, a push to the upside. Well, we may get a push back up towards uh, that sort of 34.88 area, maybe somewhere in that region. So um, it's just a case of waiting to see which way it goes there. But uh, again, it's never one of my favourites to trade, and it's, it's, today doesn't seem to be any 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 change on that. Um, okay, the S and P's. Well, um, the futures. Let's have a look. So futures yesterday did best part of nothing, which is not not a surprise here. Um, and the daily is there inside bar. Let's have a look. Coming down the time frames, what well, actually? Yeah, so just consolidating. And well, um, I would be drawing trend lines along the lows here. The way it's been moving, and my, as I've said for a while, and you can see it largely last week, it popped up a bit on Friday there. But uh, if it's to break these lows here, maybe it's uh, it's got a chance to get back towards that 2880, uh, 2808 even the area, um, which would would be where I'd be looking for on the downside there. So it does look soft. Wouldn't have said this for a long time, but um, I'll, I'll doing my analysis later on for the big picture for the rest of the week, and you can see there in terms of what's happened uh, with the uh, futures contracts for the big money. But up until this week, it's been certainly been uh, sliding away a little bit out of this, which may just be a signal that we've got more downside to come. So that's where it is today. In news, we've got the uh, best part of nothing really. Um, in fact, nothing. <laughs> Uh, nothing tradable. We got at what time is that? Uh, uh, 3 p.m. We got the uh, CB Consumer Centre Confidence, and that is it. So, I wish you all a great day. Hopefully, uh, something will pick up from this and give us some uh, some moves. Uh, may, maybe maybe tomorrow would be better. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.